Well, here we are on day five of our uh, daily reflections, finding direction from God. And today we're going to be looking at letting go of fear. See, Second Timothy 1.7, it just reminds us that fear is not from God. Fear is often what holds us back from stepping into the new opportunities and direction that he has laid out before us. You know, we've all experienced this struggle firsthand, especially when faced with the uncertain future or the prospect of stepping out of our comfort zones. And in, uh, and in particular seasons of transition, we can find ourselves paralysed by fear. But what if we, we weren't equipped for the next step? What if we failed? The unknown loomed large and it felt safer to stay in the familiar. Yet this verse reminds us that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love and self-discipline. And these are the tools he equips us with to move boldly forward. You know, fear can be sneaky. It disguises itself as being realistic or playing it safe. But the truth is, it keeps us from fully trusting God and stepping into the fullness of what he has for us. So God has already prepared the path ahead and he's given us everything we need to fulfil his calling. But when we allow fear to rule, we're essentially saying that we don't believe God will come through for us. So what what can help us uh, in these seasons is to recognise that fear, while real, doesn't have the final say. Every time fear creeps in, we have to remind ourselves of who God is and who he says and who he says you are. See, God is faithful and he is with us in every step we take. He doesn't call us to do something new and then just leave us to figure it out all on our own. He walks with us, giving us the strength, love and wisdom along the way. And if you're feeling fearful about the next phase of your life, I would encourage you to name those fears and give them to God. He wants to replace them with his power and courage. Moving forward may still feel uncertain, but with God's presence, you can step out in faith knowing that he is more than enough for whatever lies ahead. So fear may try to hold you back, but God has given you everything you need to move forward. You don't have to be fearless to act in faith, but trust that God will meet you as you take the next step. Let go of fear and walk in power, love and self-discipline. That he has already placed within you.